What is going on, my beautiful light girl freaks? Hopefully, you guys ain't had no baby mamas pop up in the time I was gone. Today, I am here to talk about my top five Mortal Kombat monsters. And starting at number five, I'm starting with the man Baraka, who made his debut in Mortal Kombat games in 1993 in Mortal Kombat 2. Now I know it's a little bit unfair to label Baraka as a monster even though he kinda is like a mutant, a mutation under the name of a Tarkata. But I mean, just look at this dude. If I ran into Baraka in the dark alley, let me tell you something, my morning breakfast would be laid out on the concrete floor. I would have crapped my pants the instant I saw him. I'm just throwing my money at him. This man's a monster. Just look at this man in the face and tell me that you would want to go to bed with that at night. I would not. I mean, this man literally is so ugly, he messed up a baddie and Melina. Even though Melina, I still risk it for, but for Baraka himself, no. Not one single bit. That's why he's at number five. I wanted the top five monsters on my list. Cause that is one ugly son of a biscuit. Next up on the list, we have the sick and twisted freak of nature. This hell fire and brimstone of Dark Khan. A combination, a fusion, if you will, of Shao Khan and Dark Side. Now, for all the people that might not be familiar, this is a character from the Cracked Out game of Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Now, this is one of the first games I had on the Xbox 360, and I can already tell you guys, without a shadow of doubt, there was crack cocaine in the board meeting with Midway, NetherRealm Studios, and Warner Brothers when they thought of this concept of having Batman square up and throw hands with Scorpion and Sub-Zero. But that's a different conversation for a different time. But just look at his character model though, man. Like, this looks like not only the final boss of this game, but the final boss of hell. Like, as soon as you pass Hitler, you gotta go up, go up against this guy. I mean, I just cannot get over how amazing his character model looks. And my studio is not doing it justice. If I turn off the lights, his body would have a emission map just showing off the flame, the lava coming off of him. Amazing model, amazing character, but that's why he's not number one, but he's at number four. So let's get to number three though. Right here we got my main man, Goro. As a matter of fact, I have his action figure in my room from like the early 2000s, late 90s. Also, his puppet in the first Mortal Kombat movie was absolutely perfection. So that's why he is coming in at number three on my top five favorite monsters in a Mortal Kombat universe. Now he made his debut in the very first Mortal Kombat game as a semi-boss, a challenge for the player to beat and he was like this clay motion character so it's great to finally see him in this hd 3d character evolution that he has so that could be a potential future video on the anatomy of gaming history of the history of goro comment down below if you want to see that and while you're down there make sure to like share and subscribe every youtuber says it i don't know a funnier spin on saying it so just do it, please. Thank you. But yeah, this four-armed beast is my favorite. But he's only my favorite in the male category because we're going in with the females at number two. Making her debut in Mortal Kombat 3 is my future baby mama Shiva. Shiva... I mean, I don't even need to talk. Just look at her character model. 
the curves, the forearms. I've seen women on certain websites do a lot of amazing things with two hands, but with four arms? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not ashamed to say this at all. Every day of the week, twice on Sunday, Shiva is my girl. I mean, just look at her character model. Matter of fact, this model is taken from Mortal Kombat 9. The jiggle physics on that game. Oh my God, chef's kiss, amazing. And I'm just so happy that she has an updated character model in Mortal Kombat 11. But Mortal Kombat 9 Shiva, that will forever be my favorite. She can crush me anytime she wants. But you guys are not coming here for me to simp over Shiva, even though she rightfully deserves it. You guys want to see number one. And this number one person is the most ugliest, disgusting, vile monster in all of Mortal Kombat history. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry you guys have to see this, but here's number one. Look at him. Look at that sick, twisted son of a biscuit. Mr. Mocap. This is one of the disgusting monsters ever created by Mortal Kombat. How this got past the censors at Midway and NetherRealm Studios, I will never know. I am so glad this character hopefully will not be featured in Mortal Kombat 1 when it comes out. Also, this video is not sponsored, but Nether Realms, if you ever want to sponsor me, I am more than open to collecting that check, yes. But back on the topic at hand of this disgusting vile beast of mocap. And what what is this outfit he has on him? He has more balls on him than a Kardashian. He has more balls on him than a women's swim team. He has more balls on him. You know what? I'll stop right here. This is a monstrosity that should never see the light of day. But ladies and gentlemen, I have gave you enough of my time. So please, like, comment down below on other Mortal Kombat content that you guys want to see. Also, tell me your favorite Mortal Kombat monster. I'm sure mocap is going to be at the top because everybody hates him, but he's at least one of my favorites. Thank you as always, and remember, keep it moist.